Wow, that looks so good. Oh my God, I love AI. <laughs> what? Like, I am shook. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm beyond excited to be sharing with you all exactly how to edit your product photos in Photo Room. Yes, guys, I've been hearing a lot about the trend of going into Photo Room and actually putting in your photos and making it more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm super excited to be sharing with you all exactly how I do that. So definitely stay tuned for the video. And if you stay until the end, I'll show you my final products. And also, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see in the future. And let's just jump right into it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is an iPhone. I don't know if this is available on Android, but I know it's available on iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab mine and show you guys exactly how I do this. Okay, I'm gonna be sharing my screen right now. I have never used this app before and I just wanna give you insight into how to use it um, with my own honest opinion. So you can use it to make some money. So I'm downloading it right now. Essentially, it's supposed to be an AI generated photo solution um, that offers you an opportunity to get aesthetically pleasing photos that are in beautiful backdrops that you did not buy, which I love. I started off with, when I first started, I started with just white poster boards from the Dollar Tree and that wasn't giving me the best aesthetic. And then I moved on to some replica services and it's a beautiful backdrop, but honestly, I only got two for $250 and you often are gonna need more than just two surfaces if you wanna show a full picture that is aesthetically pleasing. So I was like, sucks. So then I went to Home Depot and I got real tile tiles. Each of these tiles were roughly three to seven dollars, which was such a better deal than going with replica surfaces. However, it still required a lot of photo editing because it is a real surface and you do have to make it more of, you know, higher contrast increase the whites decrease the darks it's just a lot that you have to do okay our app is downloaded now so i'm just going to select open photo room and ask app not to track and then i'm just going to get started it says what do you do and i will say i am a small business owner and then you can ugh, i accidentally sent notifications y'all comment if you hate that notifications but yeah i'm about to go in and find my first product photo Okay, boom, found it. And then I'm just going to, they're scanning it through AI generated solution. Let me brighten this so you can see everything. Okay, yes, they are scanning it and I'm gonna select confirm. I'm so excited, it already looks amazing, okay? And then they have uh, the option to do $9.99 a month or $69.99 a year, which is $5 a month. We're gonna try the $9.99 a month free trial. If I love it, I'm gonna keep it, obviously. But then I'm gonna double click to subscribe, face ID, all that good stuff. Um, I'm all set, okay, good, okay. Now let's pick the best template for your image, okay, period. So now you can go through their classic backgrounds of white, black, or transparent, which is uh, doesn't look too aesthetic. And then they say, to sell on Poshmark, you can use these solutions, um, which also don't look very, you know, eye-captivating. Or you can create with instant backgrounds. That's the exciting part that I've seen. So let's just go in and see what they have in the instant backgrounds. Okay, so for a candle with a pink interior, like they know it's a candle. <laughs> AI is so smart. So on a windowsill with a bright yellow wall in the background, that looks amazing. On a flower pot with a colorful array of flowers. Let's see the flower we want. Like, can I look at it? <gasps> wow, that looks so good. Oh my God, I love AI. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show you guys what I submitted and what AI created. So on the left here is the picture I took on my iPhone. It was in ring light, as you can see, the horrible <laughs> darkness there. And it has sort of a overcast. There's an iridescent vessel that's turning yellow because there's a ring light. And then the cork is looking, the cork lid is looking really dull. And the backdrop is just looking like basic. And then AI took this and put it beside some flowers that match the label like this is just next level I did not choose this floral AI did and it's just 
remarkable. I definitely recommend checking this out because as you can see, the cork looks like it's naturally sitting there. It does not look like it doesn't belong and there's a shadow to match. <laughs> Guys, I'm so glad we're screen recording this. So this is just the top four that they're showing you with AI first, but you can generate four more. So I'm just gonna generate, oh my God, it looks so good. Honestly, I love this one, but then I love this one. I love this one right here. Oh my God, wow. And then you can just um, go ahead and edit the picture. Cause my picture is looking a little darker than the beautiful thing. So I would want to, I guess, retouch it. Brush with, what's this? I don't know, I'm having fun. Okay, I don't know what I just did, I did it. And um, I kind of want to make it brighter. I want to make my picture brighter. So transform, oh, hey girl, hey. Y'all, I'm trying to find a place and she just sent me an Addy. Thank you. I'm moving. Wow. Okay. Edit the cutout. Yes, yes, yes. Because you could do this for like, if you want to sell stuff on Poshmark, you could do this too. Okay, okay. I wasn't listening. There's a tutorial just in and I blacked out. Sometimes I do that. Like my brain works really, really fast. So I just skip um, some, like my brain goes super fast and I just skip directions and I get frustrated because I don't know what I'm doing but I didn't listen to directions so it's always important to just slow it down slow it down y'all probably slow things down <laughs> take my advice do not do it the same so I don't want to erase that thing or nothing um cancel that yes discard my changes uh, my goal would be to adjust brightness Yes, please. Okay, so this toggle, uh, this toggle, you can increase. Yeah! Oh my god, it looks so good! Wow, okay, wow. Done. Okay, so that was it. I'm content. So now I want to save it. So I'm just going to save the image. Okay. And we're done. Like, are you kidding me? Congratulations on your first creation. I love this. So definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this app. As you saw, I just took a picture from my iPhone that I took without editing. I just took it on my um, iPhone. I don't know, the most recent iPhone is what I have. I have the most recent iPhone. And I took that picture and I put it into there and automatically the AI generated solution scanned for the product and they determined it was a candle which was really nice. And then they put it in a backdrop that was aesthetically pleasing with the pink. As you can see, I have this hot pink Prosecco label and they put beautiful pink flowers right behind it. And it looks like it was genuinely in that place. Like I am, I'm stuck with. Like what 10 out of 10 recommend? This is lit, let's do another one. Like I'm, I'm getting into it. Start from photo. Okay, people love sparkling Prosecco. So if you wanna buy that, Use the code YouTube for 20% off. I got your back, like chiropractic. Okay. Beautiful, okay. So now I'm going to scroll through. I wouldn't recommend doing the sell on Poshmark. It doesn't look good, um, but I would recommend to create with instant backgrounds. They also have photo editing classic. So if you like your own original background, they'll just let you enhance your background like with a blur, that looks really good. So the background's blurred and then the, the front picture is more high resolution, which is amazing. Um, marketplaces. If you want to just sell it like on Poshmark, it's all white background, which is really good for if you're selling clothing um, or if you're selling your candles. Bath and Body Works does this too. They have an all white background for their candles. But honestly, I don't think that works for small businesses. We need to set the steam because people have no trust in us. They don't trust us. If they just see a product in a white background, no trust. They're not going to buy it. But if you have a beautiful aesthetic, you set the scene, tell a story, then they're able to, you know, connect and make that purchase. They have pride, happy birthday, everything you could possibly think of Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. I didn't even know it. I know people in Canada. Hey, Sadie. Hey, girl. If you watching? Hey, girl. Um, they have beaches. Wow. Concrete room. Concrete room. That sounds like a vibe. What in the world? Like, y'all, this is the best app ever. Like, <laughs> I'm stuck. So the picture I chose is a little bit harder to do because it has two candles in it, but it's still, they are still getting it. Like in the sky, I put my candle in the sky. Like this is so lit. I really wanna go back to the one that worked really well, which was at the top. It was the um, professional product, not that. It was the 
create with instant backgrounds that's lit so the create with instant backgrounds somehow takes your photo and like makes it puts it in a realistic location it looks like you took this picture and put it in a product backdrop it's lit like i love it interior is really what i want to do like a bathroom oh my god this looks so good like are you kidding me i'm so glad we're screen sharing so you can see this uh like what look at this wow <laughs> i love it okay so all i would do is edit the product uh adjust the brightness of the product because that's always my thing oh my gosh honestly i would also increase the contrast of this photo what what like i am shook i didn't even know this was a thing and it's only ten dollars a month which is like but even that it's like sixty dollars you pay up front that's crazy that's five dollars a month for this amazing solution to give you aesthetically pleasing product photos without you doing anything like what it looks like it's really on the it's really on the counter <laughs> i love it like because you know save image but you know there are so many other um I'm gonna stop recording so we can talk a little bit. We need to talk about this, okay? But when I first, in 2020, I began, um, I got fired from my job in 2020. So as everyone knows, when you get fired, you either overdo it with job applications or you try to be your own boss. And I did a hybrid of the two. And when I tried to be my own boss, all I found on YouTube was videos about how to start a t-shirt business. Y'all know that. And so they have these AI generated solutions for backgrounds for your t-shirt. So it's like, you'll design a t-shirt and then they'll put it on a fake stock photo model and it looks so fake. So I was like, yuck, I would never use AI for my pictures. And then when I have reviewed other candle business owners, because honestly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching um which you guys can sign up for if you need any help i got your back uh, i offer that and i was reviewing her girl's website and what she did she did that i believe she used canva and put her product in there removed the background and then put a fake background and it just looked fake so uh just looking at i forgot what facebook group it was it was a facebook group somebody actually posted that they used this ai generated solution and I was like, let me try it. It's Photo Room. Uh, it's not called Lightroom or Photoshop. It's called Photo Room, which is like beautiful. So I am in love. I didn't even know that this even exists because it has AI solutions in it. I don't think the other one with the product, the t-shirts that I saw three years ago was even doing that. I think three years ago that was actually some sort of just enhancement that needed some tweaking to the process. But something about AI... In 2023 it just looks realistic like these pictures look real i kind of want to do one more like i am <sighs> shocked like yes i have run out of storage but what are we kidding like what it literally looks like i was in my bathroom and i put these pictures up and i took a, a very expensive camera and took the photo like i'm stuck all right let's do one more <laughs> let's just do one more i want to do another bathroom one i think that's perfect okay so in love with this app guys 10 out of 10 recommend because as i told y'all before with our businesses you cannot um you cannot expect to do well without high quality, okay? High quality is going to get you the sales. So if you're looking at your business, you're like, why am I not making sales? Like, enhance your quality. Become undeniable. And this is such a cost-effective solution. It's literally like um, $5 a month, $70 up front. Uh, wow, I'm stuck. So I'm high, 10 out of 10 super fan of create with instant backgrounds okay so they'll show you what's trending you'll put this on the beach like that doesn't look real to me so i wouldn't do that um but on a see it says for a candle sitting next to another candle how it literally ai scanned the picture and determined that it was a candle sitting next to another candle and they decided what was the best background for that this is so lit so then it says uh on a wooden table with a blue sky this would look the best 
like it looks great um it doesn't look real so i'm gonna move on like i just want to make sure that this is like the most realistic picture um this one also it doesn't look real but great suggestions ai um i also want to go back to the ones that just look real like it looks like i went to a bougie place and i took these pictures so these are all trending i don't know i kind of like this one look at that like it genuinely looks like it is on that t surface and this is one of the ones that i enhanced the quality of so i don't really need to enhance the quality like it looks high resolution wow <laughs> you could do the shadows like it'll say do you want to enhance the shot and it does it like photoshop so i think this is a combination of photoshop and lightroom because lightroom does do some really nice enhancements and photoshop has layers of the photo so like the product the shadow and the background so you can go to the shadow and you can adjust it and i would say shadows and you can increase it 100 percent. oh my god 100 percent looks so good what like wow and then the background you can like blur it if you want like a look like it helps you oh wow so it has gouache on which is something that you'll see in final cut pro when you're editing so this is like a combination of all of the best places and it gives you an option to increase or decrease the blur so it's like 20 percent. so we can take it down to like a four percent blur or you can go all the way up I would say like a four or really like a seven percent blur so that the things in the background are still realistic but they're not the focus i am stuck on this honestly i actually do want to enhance the quality of the photo adjust the brightness a little bit and then i love to adjust the contrast a little wow are y'all seeing this like sometimes when something is just going really well you get a little quiet like this is crazy <laughs> these pictures are great and i really feel like they'll be great for um selling my products better because it's too often that we want to sell our products and we run into the scenario of taking pictures at home that just don't measure up so wow 10 out of 10 recommend Definitely check out Photo Room. I'll link them in the description of this video here. I'm pretty sure that if I put a referral code, you'll get like a discount there, which is so cool. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Definitely encourage you guys to try Photo Room. Comment if you've tried it and what you think of it. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.